Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the workbook solution for environmental studies for class 4, unit number 12 that is changing times. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, please do subscribe it for more videos. So we'll be starting with the MCQs. First one, what did Neela Bhai's father do for a livelihood? It's option B, farm labor. Second, in which country did Neela Bhai live 70 years ago? It's option B, C, Pakistan. Third, what did Neela Bhai build in Dholavira, Kutch to stay with his family? It's option B, D, a grass hut with a dome. Fourth, with what had Neela Bhai made the walls of his first house? It's option B, B mud and sawdust. Fifth one, what did Neela Bhai use to build a toilet? It's option C, unbaked bricks, that is Bela's. Sixth, on what does Lakha Bhai's wife cook food? It's option A, on a gas stove. Seventh, with which tool does a potter make things out of clay or mud? It's option B, potter's wheel. Eighth, which tool does a mason use for laying bricks and plastering? It's option C, a mason's trowel. Now, question number two, fill in the blanks. First one, Neela Bhai's family migrated from Pakistan. They first came to Dholavira in Kutch. Second, Lakha Bhai is Neela Bhai's son. Third, the floor of a hut or a kacha house is plastered with a mixture of cow dung and mud. Fourth, the kitchen of Neela Bhai's house is made in the yard. Fifth, people usually fit tiles on the walls of bathrooms. Sixth, a mason is called to lay bricks and plaster our house. Seventh, a blacksmith makes things out of iron. Eighth, we go to a potter to buy things made out of clay or mud. Ninth, a plumber fits pipes and taps. Now question number three, true or false? First one. Neela Bhai's family was sent to India by the Pakistan government. It is false. Second, Neela Bhai first lived in India in a dome-shaped hut in Dholavira. It is true. Third, Lakha Bhai's son built a house with modern facilities. It is true. Fourth, a potter uses an anvil and a mason's straw well to make things from clay. It is false. Fifth, you need to go to a mason for things made out of iron. It is false. Now, question number four match the following. First one, potter. It's option number D, potter's wheel. Second, carpenter. It's option number E, carpenter's level. Third, blacksmith. It's option B, anvil. And fourth, mason. It's option number A, mason's trowel. Now question number 5, answer the following questions as asked. First one, over the past 80 years, different materials were used at different times in Neela Bhai's house. List these in the correct order. So you can see those materials and complete in your workbook. Okay. Now second one is look at the picture and fill in the table. So we'll see the table, which tools are people using in the picture. Write them in the given table so the work first one is makes various things from clay or mud tool used is wheel and the person is known as potter second one is mixes cement sand and water to make concrete the tool used is spade and tub and the person is called laborer third one is does the masonry of the house the tools used are masons shovel and masons level and the person is called mason. Fourth one is does the electrical work of the house. The tools used are tester, pliers, wire, drill machine. And the person used is, uh, sorry, the person is known as electrician. Now question number three. Write about their work done by the craftsmen given below. First one is carpenter. He makes various things out of wood, for example, windows, doors, small and big stools, chairs, tables, cupboards, beds, etc. Second one is potter. 
He makes various things out of clay or mud. For example, bricks, roof tiles, barrels, small clay cups, lamps, etc. Third one is mason. He lays and plasters walls of a building with bricks, stones, marble, tiles, mud, sand, grit, etc. He also makes shops and water tanks. Fourth one is blacksmith. He makes various things like windows, doors, stairs, iron nets, plows, uh, spades, axes, rakes, etc. Fifth one is electrician. He does the electric wiring of the house and fits bulbs, tube lights, fans, ACs, geysers, etc. And sixth one is plumber. He fits pipes and taps in the house. Now question number four is recognize the craftsmen given below and write their names below each picture. So first one is potter, second one is blacksmith, third one is carpenter and fourth one is mason. Now question number 6 is answer the following questions in one or two sentences. First one, where in Dola Vira did Neelabai's family live? Neelabai's family lived on an open plot in a dome-shaped hut which they made themselves. Second, what is Bela? What is its use? Bela is a type of stone that is found in the mines on the sea coast. It is used in the same way as bricks are. Third, which type of houses are there in our vill in your village? Different types of houses like kacha houses, pakka houses, huts, terraced houses, houses with roof tiles or asbestos sheets, etc. are there in my village. Fourth one, what is a pakka house? A house whose walls are made up of stone, bricks, sand and cement. The roof has a cemented terrace or galvanized sheets and the floor is cemented or covered with stones or tiles is known as a pakka house. Fifth one is, what is a kacha house? A house whose walls are made up of mud. The roof has bamboo, grass, cloth, galvanized sheets or plastic and the floor is plastered with a mixture of mud, cow dung and water is known as a kacha house. Sixth, which materials have been used in making your house? Bricks, cement, grit, sand, iron, tiles, glass, wood, etc. have been used to build our house. Seventh, where would you like to live when you grow up? What kind of house would you like? When I grow up, I would like to live in a city. I would like to live in an independent bungalow or villa built in the modern way. Eight twin, which craftsmen live in your village? Craftsmen like carpenters, blacksmiths, potters, tailors, cobblers, masons, sweepers, plumbers, electricians, mechanics, etc. live in my village. Now we'll continue with question number 7. Answer the following questions. First one. Why did Neelabai's father have to leave Pakistan and come to India? When India became independent, it was partitioned into two nations, India and Pakistan. At that time, many people from India migrated to Pakistan and many people from Pakistan migrated to India. Neelabai's father also came to India in these circumstances. Second, a lot of mud was used when Neelabai's house was made. Why? Neelabai's house was built 80 years ago from today. At that time, things like cement, sand, iron or bricks were not used in villages. At that time, even their living conditions were poor. Neelabai got land to live in a village called Kharcharya. So they built a house themselves with mud mixture of mud and cow dung, sawdust and branches. Because the walls of the house and the floor were made of mud, a lot of mud was used to build Neelabhai's house. Third, find out the materials from which your friend's house is made. Is there any difference? Write about it. My friend's house is made from bricks, cement, grit, sand, iron, tiles, imported roof tiles and teak wood. For his home special decoration, 
the doors and windows have imported roof tiles on top there is a lot of difference in my house and my friends house fourth one what kind of house do you think neelabai's grandchildren will live in due to changing times neelabai his son lakhabai and neelabai's grandson will change the construction of the house and use bricks cement sand grit and iron to rebuild it thus in modern times neelabai's grandchildren will also live in large houses built with bricks cement sand iron grit wood and tiles this is what i think fifth what does 80 year old neelabai say about the change in times neelabai says the following things about the change in times i am now 80 years old i have seen a lot of changes during all these years even in my own house i do not know where my grandchildren would like to live and how their houses will be i wonder what the houses are like in aliano tando today i also think how about all my friends where will they they be sixth one why do we need a house a house or home is the place where people rest a house provides a person or a family a place to slay, uh, stay sleep eat and drink protect his or her things moreover a house protects people from heat cold and rain it also takes care of his belongings and wealth we need a house or home for all these reasons so now we'll see the activities the third activity is draw or stick pictures of different types of houses so you can see the different types of houses and you can also draw or even if you can draw, you cannot draw you can stick the pictures of these houses fourth one is color the house given below with your favorite colors that i hope that you can do that okay now we'll see the hot questions first one what type of stones are bela its option was c stones found in mines on sea coast second mahesh bhai wants to construct a new house which craftsman will be needed its option will be mason laborer plumber electrician and carpenter third one is what was built in the space behind neela bhai's house its option will be a toilet and here we come to the end of chapter number 12 that is changing times i hope you have understood the complete chapter if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section i'll surely try to answer all the questions thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates thank you